say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. John chapter 9. John chapter 9. Verse 13. The Bible says, They brought to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. 14. Now the day on which Jesus had made a mat and opened man's eyes was a Sabbath. 15. Therefore, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He put a mat on my eyes. The man replied, and I washed, and now I see you. 16. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others ask, How can a sinner perform such signs? So they were divided. 17. Then they turned again to the man, the blind man. What you have to say? about him. It was your eyes he opened. The man replied, he is a prophet. He is what? Tell your neighbor, say, he is a prophet. I want to bring this to your attention, people of God, that spiritual life does not depend on human capacity. What you have never seen in your life from any human being, the Spirit of God can do that for you. And it is only you who can understand the pain, the humiliation, the stigma of your blindness. Now, today you are able to see you can walk by yourself and people are questioning your healing to say, no. No, this man was born blind and today is Sabbath. So it is not possible that God can perform a miracle on the Sabbath day. But he did it because he was and he is the owner of the Sabbath. Praise the Lord. So they brought this man to the Pharisees. They started asking questions from this man. And the Bible says on that day on which Jesus had opened, the highest of that man was the Sabbath. The Pharisees also asked him who had received his sight. He said, the man put the mud on my eyes and I washed my face. I can see now. My point is on verse 16. 16, some of the Pharisees say, this man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. Jesus was a Messiah and he came to perform his duties as a Messiah. He came to heal, to deliver, and to reconcile. And what was impossible before he came to this life, he came to introduce the word possible to whoever believes in him. If you believe in Jesus, there's nothing too big. Not even your problem. Not even your poverty. Not even that barrenness that has been there for years and years. The name Jesus is a miracle. 
The name Jesus is the key to unlock everything. No one could believe that this man can see at that particular time. Everyone knew that this man is a blind man. He would die a blind man. But Jesus said, no. I am here to give you the sight. Are you a believer? I'm talking to you, church. Are you a believer? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that Jesus can do anything? If truly what you are saying is from your heart, nothing and nothing that can change you not to believe in Jesus. Do you believe that even in our time, there are people that God can use to perform such a miracle? Do you believe that? Okay, if a miracle is performed, and then others are doubting to say, no, this is a magician. Uh, this is what? State manage. And you, you are a believer. What are you going to say? Are you going to follow your heart? Or you follow what you hear others are saying? Come on, people of God, I'm talking to you. Jesus came to introduce his power to you and me. So that nothing is too big for you again as long as you are in Jesus. Nothing is impossible again as long as Jesus is your father. The man received his sight. But the Jewish leader said, no. No one can do this on the Sabbath. This man is not from God. Because he does not keep what? The Sabbath. If I ask you this question, someone who is, you know, walking in the power of God, demonstrating the power of God, and someone who is just confessing the word without power. This one confessed the word, and the power followed the word. This one confessed the word without what? Who are you going to believe? What can destroy human being is evil power. What can save human being is Holy Spirit. As believers, watch and pray. There are so many things that will come along the way to blackmail the prophetic ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you are not grounded, or believe that Jesus can do this. Whatever you see or hear can disfocus you. But I believe God that for you to be there or here, you know that Jesus can do anything. He has no limit when it comes to miracle. He has no what? This is my word, very short. I'm encouraging you. Don't be deceived by what you hear from people of this world. Don't be discouraged. Jesus is on the throne. Jesus is where? Only those who believe in him shall be the partakers of his grace and his mercy. So believe with your heart. Believe with what? That Jesus can perform any miracle. Thank you. God bless you.